In this problem, it states, consider two one liter samples of gas. One is hydrogen, the other is going to be oxygen. Both are at one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius. How do the samples compare in terms of the mass, the density, the average molecular speed, and D, the average molecular kinetic energy? So to start out with, we're going to determine, we're going to look at the mass. And in order to look at the mass, we're going to use the equation N is equal to uh, PV upon RT. All right, PV upon RT. We can use this equation, and our pressure is going to be one atmosphere. Our volume is one liter. Our R is 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere mole Kelvin. And now the temperature is 298.15 Kelvin. So our Kelvins cancel, our liters cancel, our atmospheres cancel. And so what we have is we have one over one over a mole, which is going to give us the units of mole. And this is equal to 0 0.041 moles. And this is going to be of either hydrogen or oxygen. So if we want to determine the mass, we want to determine the mass for this. Say, for instance, hydrogen, it's going to be 0 0.041 moles of hydrogen times the molar mass of hydrogen. And so one mole of hydrogen is equivalent to 2.016 grams of hydrogen. And that's going to be equal to, here we'll just write it up here, 0 0.0824 grams of hydrogen. Now if we want to do the exact same thing for the oxygen, that's going to be 0 0.041 moles of hydrogen, oops, not hydrogen, we're doing this for oxygen, sorry, of oxygen and one mole of oxygen is equivalent to 32.0 grams of oxygen. We do that arithmetic and what we end up getting is we get 1.31 grams of oxygen. Now for B, it asks us for the density. Well, the density is really easy. It, it's really quite simple because we have the mass and we know the volume is one liter. So the density is going to be equal to 0 0.082 uh, oops, 4 grams per 1 liter. And likewise, the density for the oxygen is going to be 1.31 grams of oxygen over 1 liter because we know our volume is going to be 1 liter. Now when I come back, I have to erase the board. You don't need to see that. When I come back, we're next going to work on the average molecular speed, okay? And I'm back with a clean board. And what we want to do now is we want to work the, uh, calculate the average molecular speed. Now for that equation, we're going to use the square root of u squared. This is going to be our speed is equal to the square root of 3 rt all over the molar mass. So if we're going to work on this for hydrogen, so we want to first work on this for hydrogen, all right? The square root of u squared is going to be equal to the square root, now 3 times r. Now we're going to use a different r. This is going to be 8.314 joule mole Kelvin. You'll see why in a little bit. I'll go through the units and show you how that works. And then the temperature is 298.15 Kelvin. Now the molar mass, the molar mass is going to be 2.016 grams per mole. Now we've got to convert that into kilograms. So it's got to be in kilograms, so it's going to be 0 0.002016 kilogram per mole. And once again, you'll see why. 
or Kelvin's cancel or Kelvin's cancel or Mole's cancel or Mole's cancel. And so what we get when we do this, this, uh, this arithmetic, what we come up with is 1920.6. Now to look at the units, we're going to get the square root of joule per kilogram, the square root of joule per kilogram. Now a joule is going to be equal to a kilogram meter squared per second squared is what a joule is. And so if we put this unit of joules into here, we get 1920.6. This becomes the square root now of kilogram meter squared kilogram second squared. Right, so all of this is going to be a joule. That's a joule. Now the kelvins or kilograms cancel, kilograms cancel, and the square root of a meter per second squared is going to give us the unit of meters per second. And so our average kinetic speed for hydrogen is going to be 1920.6 meters per second. All right. When I come back, I'll do the exact same calculation, but for hydrogen, okay? All right, I'm back with a, a clean board, sort of. Now I'm going to do the exact same calculation for oxygen. So we'll do the exact same calculation for oxygen. Once again, this is gonna be our speed, and our speed is equal to the square root of three times 8.314 joule, mole, kelvin. Once again, we're using a different R than we've used before. Because we want that unit of joule, as I showed you, with hydrogen, times our temperature, which is 298.15 kelvin, divided by the molar mass of oxygen. Remember, the molar mass of oxygen is going to be 32 grams per mole, but we want to put that in terms of kilograms because in the unit of joule is going to be the unit of kilogram. And so this becomes 0 0.032 kilograms per mole. So the moles cancel with the moles, the kelvins cancel with the kelvins, and we have units of joule per kilogram. So we do this arithmetic, we take the square root of it, we get 482.07, and I'll go through the units just in case for you. Uh, so this would be a joule per kilogram, right? That's what we have left. Realizing that a joule is a kilogram meter squared per second squared, so we can plug that into the joule there, and this becomes 482.07, and now this is the square root of a kilogram meter squared per second squared kilogram so now this right here is going to be the unit of a joule. The kilograms cancel, so we get a meter squared per second squared. Take the square root of that, and you get a speed of 482.07 meters per second. I should have moved it up a little bit. But what you can see now is you can see that the speed of the oxygen is slower than the speed of the hydrogen because it's a much more massive molecule. So that even though it's going at the exact same, even, even though it's at the exact same temperature, because oxygen is a heavier, heavier, much more massive molecule, it's going to travel slower than the hydrogen will. When I come back, we're going to tackle the kinetic energy of these two molecules, okay? And I'm back with a clean board, and now we're gonna finish this problem by looking at the average molecular kinetic energy. And the equation we're gonna use for that is we're going to use kinetic energy is equal to one half mass times the average velocity speed. So we're using u to be our average velocity. Now, if we're gonna be looking at the hydrogen molecule, that's going to be one half, now our mass, in kilograms is going to be 0 0.02016 kilograms times the speed we just found here, which is 
0.6 meters per second squared. We come out, we find out that the kinetic energy of that is going to be 3,718.2 joules. So that's going to be the kinetic energy for our hydrogen molecule, which is 3,718.2 uh, joules. Okay. Now we can do the exact same thing for our oxygen molecule. So give me a few moments while I erase this. So we're going to do we're going to use the exact same equation we just did, except we're going to use our velocity and mass for our oxygen. And so for that, if we're going to look at the oxygen, that's going to be equal to one half times the mass, which is 0 0.032 kilograms times now our speed, which is our average speed, which is 482.07 meters per second squared. We go through and we do that calculation, and what we end up getting is we get 3,718 joules. So we get the exact same kinetic energy that we did for hydrogen. Now that is because the kinetic energy depends upon temperature. What temperature is, it's an average kinetic energy of all the molecules that make up that sample. And so there's another equation we can use to determine the kinetic energy and it doesn't matter about the identity of the gas. So it doesn't matter about its speed and it doesn't matter about the identity of the gas. So the speed or the molar mass of it. So let me get this erased a few moments and, and I'll show you that equation. So you can find the, the average kinetic energy by what we just got done doing. You can do it, you can find it using that equation. However, for that you have to know the speed of the molecules and you have to know the molar mass of the molecules. Or there's another way to do it which is independent of that. And the other way you can find the kinetic energy, average kinetic energy, is equal to three halves RT. This is going to be equal to three halves times R, which is 8.314 joule mole Kelvin, all right, times, times our temperature, which is 298.15 Kelvin, oops, Kelvin. And so when you do this arithmetic, you end up getting 3,718 joules is what you end up getting, or joules per mole of molecule. Now if you remember, so the Kelvin's cancel Kelvin, if you remember we have one mole of hydrogen atom and we have one mole of oxygen atom. So if we multiply this by one mole, because that's how much we have, then this value becomes 3,718 joules, which is exactly what we got here, of course, I probably carried too many digits over, uh, 3718 joules. So you can find the average kinetic energy by either taking into account the mass of the molecule and the speed of the molecule, or which is even easier, who cares about the identity of the molecules, we can just look at this simply the temperature, because the temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of all the molecules that make up that system. If you have any questions for me on this, I'd be more than welcome to help you with that.